week's episode of Naruto Shippuden. Tsunade, the fifth Hokage, becomes the next victim of the infinite Tsukiyomi. This week's episode of Naruto Shippuden also featured a brand new intro and outro, both of which were amazingly gorgeous, incredibly symbolic, and very spoilerific for those who only watch the anime version. This week's episode was okay. The whole infinite Tsukiyomi story with Tsunade is definitely nothing to write home about, but at least it had some competent animation and artwork. But for the most part, it's just a retread of events that we've already seen before with some minor differences. But before we talk about that, let's talk about the brand new intro this week, which is the 18th intro for Naruto Shippuden. The name of the song is Line, and it's done by a band which is called Tsukima Switch. I don't have much to say about the song, but I will say that the imagery is absolutely amazing and one of the most symbolic openings that I've seen from the series thus far. The main theme of the intro is that you have a lot of the main characters from the series, a lot of those who are involved in the final arc of the series, and they're all trying to grab these crystals which are just hanging out in the darkness. And at the very beginning of the intro, you get to see all of these characters who are either dead, killed or passed away and they're actually releasing these crystals so that their friends can find them in a way the other ninja in the series are trying to reclaim their hopes their dreams and their aspirations for the reformation of the entire ninja world it's symbolic it's beautiful and it's amazing and it might even be the final intro of the series although I certainly have my doubts. I do have a feeling that there is going to be a final intro of the show, which is going to be a little more of bombastic, a little more upbeat, and probably showing some more of the big action scenes which are going to be taking place in the final arcs of the series. The biggest thing about the intro, though, without a doubt, is probably one of the biggest spoilers that they've ever included in an intro. If you do not read the manga version and you don't want to be spoiled by these events, I would highly recommend that you skip ahead further in the video because I'm about to talk about them. Okay, so there's this big scene where Madara Uchiha is standing there all menacing and evil when suddenly this white hand thrusts right through his chest, when suddenly you realize that Lady Kaguya is right behind him. Why is this happening in the intro? Because this is actually what's going to happen in the manga version of the story. By the end of the series, Kaguya is going to be the main villain. However, what is most interesting is that they decided to show Kaguya there, where in the actual manga version, it's actually Black Zetsu who ends up betraying Madara, but that's because he's the collective will of Kaguya and actually working with her. What is most interesting, though, is just that they decided to show an event like this. I just never imagined that they would give away such a big element, and it almost makes me seem like they should have never never even showed Kaguya in the previous intro because she still has not played a part in the story and that's because we're still in Fillersville. That's right, this is more fillers. Now what's most interesting about the story of this week's episode is that it's all about Tsunade. She is one of the characters that they actually did focus on in the manga version during the Infinite Tsukiyomi, which was only one chapter by the way. And her Infinite Tsukiyomi story basically saw her living with Dan, who became the Hokage, her brother Nawaki was still around, Jiraiya was still around, Orochimaru was there, and everybody was all buddy-buddy. That is not what is going on in this week's episode. I do imagine when they conclude this story, that's probably what we are eventually going to see. However, the main story this week is that apparently Jiraiya is either gone or dead, and Sonate has found one of his old scripts, a book that he was getting ready to release, and she decides to read it. And basically, it's all just about Naruto living in the village, hanging out with Sakura, Sasuke, Kakashi, his family is still alive, and they're going on a mission so that they can find some random ninja who are missing or have been kidnapped. That's pretty much it. The good news is, everything here is really well animated, and it has good artwork and a little bit of atmosphere behind it. I really wish every episode would have the attention to detail that this one had, not to mention there was one small action scene where Naruto got wailed on by Sasuke when he got to use his classic lion barrage combo. That was pretty damned awesome, and definitely the best animated scene from this week's episode. But really, this is just another one of those infinite Tsukiyomi filler episodes that you can take or you can leave. It's infinite Tsukiyomi, which means it's fake, which means it never really happens. You don't really need to watch it. You just need to know that Tsunade is in a dream world where she wants to see things as she wants them to be. That's about it. The main reason to check out this week's episode, without a doubt, is to see the brand new intro for the show and the ending. The ending, while not as flashy or interesting as the intro, is still pretty nice. It's basically just Naruto running around constantly, but it looks good and the song is quite nice. 
So what's the rundown on this week's episode of Naruto Shippuden? Man, that Kaguya shot with Madara at the beginning was so freaking cool and ominous, and it has got me so excited to see what they are actually going to do with the character of Kaguya. I really cannot wait to see how they're going to expand on her in this series, but that's really a small part of this week's episode. The story this week was all about Tsunade reading one of Jiraiya's old stories, which just happened to have Naruto and his friends in it. Again, this is a more idyllic infinite Tsukiyomi world than the one we saw in last week's episode with Karin, which was still incredibly depressing. Like, I still just cannot get over how messed up that episode was and how much I never want to watch it again. And I was really apprehensive about how they were going to handle this one, but at least it had some good animation and artwork. There were a lot of classic moments in this week's episode, a lot of old lines which were being read, especially from Kakashi, the whole thing about abandoning your comrades where you're going to be less than scum or more than scum, blah, 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 blah. We've heard it all before. It's just more of that stuff. What I will say is I'm a little apprehensive though. The one thing that kind of freaks me out the most is even though the intro is really nice and well done, it doesn't really like let me know when these fillers are going to end. It, it's a very vague intro. There's only like one major manga event which actually takes place in the intro of the show. It, it kind of leads me to believe that maybe these infinite Tsukiyomi fillers are going to go on a lot longer than we actually uh, realize. And if that's true, then damn, that is disappointing as all hell. I am so ready to get back to the main story of Naruto right now because we are so much closer to the ending and these fillers are just really unnecessary at this point. Y you know, as soon as the manga version of Naruto finished up, my first thought after reading it was like, oh man, this is great. The anime version is going to kick into high gear and we're finally going to get to some great action. And it just hasn't happened yet. And as a big fan of the Naruto anime series... That's incredibly disappointing, but still there are some elements from this week's episode that I do think some Naruto fans will enjoy, and if you're just a hardcore Naruto fan, check out this week's episode. It's just nice to see some hypotheticals of Naruto actually living with his parents, being friends with Sasuke, and just getting to see all these characters who were dead actually being alive. I'm really curious to see how they're going to wrap up the story, though, like if they're actually going to go to that one moment in the Infinite Tsukiyomi from the manga with Tsunade, or if they're just going to create something entirely new for her. I'm really curious to see how they're going to handle that. Otherwise, this was just an okay episode with a really great intro, which is very spoilerific, but still a great intro nonetheless. One that all Naruto fans should definitely check out. So this was an okay episode. Uh, it had pretty good animation and artwork. The story really wasn't to my liking, uh, but still, I enjoyed it, especially for the intro. But it was still an average episode of Naruto Shippuden, so I am going to give this week's episode a 3 out of 5. Remember, a 3 out of 5 is not bad. A 3 is average. It just means it's a pretty good episode, but really nothing too crazy. But I want to hear your thoughts. Before you guys leave today, please tell me what you thought about this week's episode of Naruto Shippuden. Are you enjoying the Infinite Tsukiyomi story for Tsunade? What do you think of the brand new intro and outro? And what do you hope to see from the rest of the Naruto Naruto Shippuden anime series. Please tell me in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching my review. Make sure to like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. That way you can see all of our latest anime and manga reviews and this brand new big Star Wars project that I'm working on. It's called Star Wars for 100 Days. I'm making 100 Star Wars videos all leading up to the release of Star Wars The Force Awakens. I highly recommend that you guys check these out. I'm releasing one episode a day seven days a week until the release of the movie, so make sure to check those out. Currently, I am vlogging and reviewing every single episode of Star Wars Clone Wars, which is the 2D animated cartoon from 2003, which is all leading up to the third Star Wars movie, Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. So make sure to check those out. I would really appreciate it. Make sure to share it with all your friends and all that jazz. So thank you guys again for watching, and as always... Stay dandy, baby!